Jesus fucking Christ. It was two and a half fucking hours ago I left. Um, two and a half fucking hours ago I left to come do these motherfucking sheets. Jesus fucking Christ. Is this my fucking life? <coughs> this is what five years of fucking college real estate licenses in three fucking states uh, have gotten me uh, washing a bunch of fucking cum stained sheets uh, from all of these people coming to my fucking Airbnb and fucking all fucking night long getting their fucking cum all over my goddamn sheets all over my fucking tiny houses when I'm never gonna see any fucking pussy in, in, in this fucking place it, it, as long as I fucking live motherfucker what was that another fucking 25 fucking dollars uh, two and a half fucking hours out of my motherfucking life uh, to, to come wash these, these, these motherfucking sheets you know, five fucking years of college down the fucking toilet. You know, so, so, so I'm in here dealing with this fucking bullshit, hoping that this this this, this motherfucking uh, drink I bought at the goddamn mini mart is gonna get me through this two and a half hour fucking descent into hell. And, and, and I get a fucking call. I get a fucking call from the Ithaca Best Buy. So you got to understand, for any of you who heard my rant last night or did not hear it, what, what I've already been through, trying to schedule a motherfucking appointment with a fucking geek uh, at the fucking geek squad in the Ithaca thing. Uh, so... I, I can't get through to the motherfuckers yesterday. All I can do is talk to some goddamn motherfucker from, from fucking India. If, if I hear another fucking voice with, with a fucking Indian fucking accent, and, and I tell the guy, just go fuck yourself. I'm going to get in the fucking car, drive to fucking Ithaca, make the motherfucking appointment. So I drive to fucking Ithaca. I, I, I want an appointment with, with the one motherfucker with a fucking brain that works at fucking Best Buy Drive. All the motherfucking way to Ithaca. Uh, the, the goddamn whatever this fucking thing is. Uh, telling me never heard of fucking Ben. I said, fuck you. I don't know whether it's fuck you bitch or fuck you dude because I don't know whether you got a fucking dick or a fucking pussy and I don't think you know either because you're too fucking fat to, to see either one of them. So, so, you know, I go to the fucking manager, make a fucking appointment uh, and then the fucking cunt tells me she can't make me a fucking appointment with a motherfucking one fucking person who has a fucking brain uh, in the whole goddamn Best Buy fucking operation on this fucking planet. So anyway, the fucking bitch makes me this fucking appointment for 120 tomorrow. And, 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 and then this fucking hermaphrodite who has a fucking dick and a pussy, or who has no dick and no fucking pussy. I don't know what the fucking mutant is in front of me. Uh, he, she, it, they, whatever the fuck this fucking thing is, doesn't have the fucking brain to print me out my fucking appointment. I, I said, do I look like a fucking clueless fucking moron? Okay, my fucking appointment's at 120 tomorrow. All right? And then I, I get up tomorrow and, 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 I, and I have this fucking text from fucking Best Buy that, that, that I have four more pieces of business. Four motherfucking pieces of business I need to attend to before my fucking appointment tomorrow. Say, fuck you. 
fuck you. I, I, I've done enough attending to fucking business with you clueless moron motherfuckers. So I skipped through all of that shit. And, and then they say, do you want to confirm your appointment at 120? And I said, do I sound like a fucking clueless fucking moron? So I confirmed my appointment for 120 tomorrow. That was at 9 o'clock this fucking morning. I'm sitting there 10 hours later at the fucking laundromat dealing with this shit. My fucking phone rings and, and it's fucking Best Buy in Ithaca calling me about something. So I, I say hello, the fucking phone call drops. So I return the phone call to Best Buy in Ithaca and I get this fucking robot and, and it says, are you calling about your 120 appointment tomorrow? And, and I say yes. And, and so then the fucking robot says, so the fucking robot uh, says, what do you want to do with your appointment? And I said, I want to confirm my fucking appointment. Like I've already done two fucking times. And the fucking robot says, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm having trouble understanding you. Let me dispatch you to an associate. <coughs> and I sit there on fucking hold. I had nothing better to do with my life. And I sit there on fucking hold waiting for a fucking associate from the Ithaca Best Buy. Ten fucking minutes later, who the fuck do you think I hear is a fucking voice from motherfucking India going, uh, yeah? What the fuck do you want? I said, I want to fuck, I want to confirm my fucking appointment. And, I, and, and, and the dude goes, there's no reason for you to be so angry with me. And I said, there's plenty of fucking reason for me to be fucking angry. I said, I want you to confirm my fucking appointment for tomorrow. I, I said, is my motherfucking appointment confirmed or not? And he goes, yes, sir, your appointment is confirmed. I said, get out of my fucking life. Get out of my fucking life. Sick and fucking tired of this motherfucking bullshit. Trying to make a fucking 20-minute fucking appointment. Uh, with some fucking geek at fucking Best Buy. I, I think I've, I've, uh, I, I've fucking spent enough of my fucking life on, on, on this motherfucking bullshit. And of course I was talking to a, to a, a, a fucking dial tone. Two and a half fucking hours. Twenty five fucking dollars. Dealing with these motherfucking sheets. <sighs> now, of course, I could have taken them to the Amish woman who would have done these, let's see, 11. So, I could have paid the Amish woman. I, I could have made one trip up to the farm, left all the sheets, let her do all the washing, drying, and fucking folding them, banging back up. I think the sheets that I just did would have been $70 that I would have paid this Amish woman. Two fucking trips uh, up there to her farm uh, and 70 fucking dollars uh, to, to, to do this fucking bullshit. Ugh. Jesus fucking Christ, I, I, I am so fucking sick and tired of my fucking life. This, this is my fucking life, people. Jesus fucking Christ, I hate my fucking life. Will one of these fucking dead trees just fucking fall on my fucking truck? Put me out of my fucking misery? Should I just have a fucking head-on collision with my fucking neighbor? Hello, neighbor. Oh, fuck. I, I am so fucking fed up with, with, with this fucking bullshit. 
So now I get to take my fucking computer, which I finally got delivered by those clueless fucking morons at fucking UPS. Get to go up there tomorrow. You got to understand that this box has never been opened. So I am going to film the geek opening the box uh, to see if this motherfucking, uh, quote, brand new probably three-year-old computer in the fucking box uh, even even fucking turns on. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, I need a fucking real drink. Give me some fucking tequila. G g give me fucking reason to live uh, uh, on this fucking planet. Uh, the, the one fucking pleasure I have in my fucking life is fucking liquor. Where is this motherfucking rain they promised? Uh, Jesus fucking Christ. My fucking life. What do you think, little dog? I just want some fucking chicken. I want some fucking chicken. And I want to go to bed.